Hi, today we are going to talk about cooking kohlrabi. I've had a lot of people ask me about some ideas and ways to cook um, some of the fresh vegetables that I talk about in all my gardening videos. So I will let you know that I am a gardener. I am not a cook. My mother was a fabulous cook. I am seriously into simple and easy when it comes to cooking. Um, I, I, I don't do fancy stuff. So um, today we're going to do four recipes that use kohlrabi, which is an absolute fabulous vegetable. It's very hearty. It's very easy to grow. Let me know if you um, like this cooking video and if you want me to make more and what uh, vegetables that you would be interested in. And so let's go to the kitchen. So I'm just taking the kohlrabi leaf off. A couple of them, um, a couple of leaves are a little bit buggy, so I'm uh, kind of picking out some of the better leaves. So next step in um, preparing our kohlrabi greens is just to, I just grabbed a small handful and I kind of rolled them up and then I am just cutting the greens into smaller pieces. Uh, the size is um, what you'd like. I'm also um, including the stems. They're a little bit fibrous, but they actually have a very good flavor. And then I'm just going to pop them in my colander so I can rinse everything off. I'm also going to cut up a young onion and, um, and I have some olive oil uh, for the pan and just salt and pepper. Okay, so I've just been kind of browning uh, the onion a little bit and I'm going to add the kohlrabi. Trying to kind of slowly and carefully pour in some water. I'm going to start with, well, I don't know, that much. <laughs> I'm not very good at following recipes. All right, you can see the pan is steaming away. It's been about four minutes. We're just going to give them a little check. Here's where they are at this point. And I'm just going to stir them up a little bit. Make sure we're cooking evenly. In total, it's been eight minutes uh, that they've been cooking. And so uh, that's what they look like. You know, you could cook them some more. I honestly don't like my greens to be, you know, too soft, too mushy. I like a little bit of texture in there. So I am going to add some to my plate. I put, um, some mustard on my plate. I love mustard. And actually, while I was cooking these, I was thinking, I wish I had some mustard greens, because mustard greens and kohlrabi greens, I think that would go really well together. I've never tried it, but now I want to. I'll turn my stove off. Mmm, but they are really good. The kohlrabi makes really good greens. So the next dish I'm going to make is going to be some uh, mashed vegetables. Um, we all love mashed potatoes. Mashed kohlrabi is very good. It's on the mild side. I've mixed um, kohlrabi and potatoes before, and that's been really good. Today I'm going to add some carrot. And so I have a, a potato, two kohlrabis, and two carrots. Now if you're a bigger family, you might need uh, more vegetables, but um, I'm, I'm just one. And I also have um, an onion that uh, is ready. And um, so I'll be adding it in at the end. Uh, but right now I'm going to cut up uh, vegetables. Um, so if you haven't used um, kohlrabi before, 
this is the part where the um, you know stem went down to the root it's pretty tough at that end so so you want to cut that off um, and I've already taken off the leaves we did that when we were sauteing it um, but uh, we also take off that skin the outer skin so trying I'm not trying not to take off too much but um, Sometimes I do this with a peeler, sometimes it's easier with a knife, but, you know, it kind of is a preference. Um, you can also use a paring knife and just kind of, I don't know if you can see that, but you can just kind of um, take off that outer skin. I'm just going to cube it. I'll try to... No, I'm never very good at keeping things the same size. I know you're supposed to do that when you're cooking, but that's not my thing. So I'm just going to finish cutting up the vegetables and they are cut up one red potato, two kohlrabis, and two kind of um, short, uh, they were sweet and short carrots. And so I'm going to put water in this pan and with some Himalayan salt and get it boiling. All right, so our veggies have been boiling. Ah, <laughs> I can't really show you without spilling water, but I'm going to drain them. They are all soft. I've checked them with a fork. They're the consistency that, that I like anyway. I'm going to stick this pan with some butter on the stove and I I put, um, I just put the veggies in the colander just to let the hot water drain off. I am now melting some butter and I have a small onion and then a small handful of fresh parsley that I chopped up and I am just going to cook them for a hot minute. Just going to mash them up. All right, now I've got them mashed to the consistency that I want. You might want, you know, them smoother. Um, I like a little bit of texture. And so I have the onion and the parsley that I just browned a bit in butter. And I'm going to just add that in. I'm also going to add a touch of pepper. I don't think I need any more salt. There's salt in the butter. All right. I don't know. It might not be the prettiest thing, but I think it'll taste good. I'm going to try a bit. Mmm. It does taste good, but I maybe could use a little bit more salt, but the parsley is good. I love parsley. So kohlrabi does well as a roasted vegetable. Roasted vegetables are one of my favorite fall dishes. Here I combine kohlrabi, potato, carrot, and yellow beets. I mix them in a bowl with some olive oil, fresh rosemary, salt, and pepper and bake them at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 minutes. I always roast things at a lower temperature than a lot of recipes call for. I just think it is more flavorful. All right, my phone was being a tyrant for the kohlrabi salad when I cut it up. I used a grater and I grated a kohlrabi and a carrot into a bowl. Then I added about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and one of red wine vinegar. I added some fresh basil and sesame seeds just because I like them. Apple is also a great thing for a kohlrabi salad. It pairs really well with kohlrabi. Let me know if you wanna see more cooking idea videos and what fresh garden vegetables you are interested in preparing. So check out my growing kohlrabi video next. It helps me immensely when you like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and have 
a fabulous, wonderful, sunny day.